guys, it's Alex from Top Tennis Training and today I'm here with Taro Daniel. Now Taro was a world number 85, he's played many of the top pros and among them he's played Stan Wawrinka. Now Taro, what was it like playing Stan? Uh, well Stan has such a heavy ball, yeah. uh, it's surprising but then it was also interesting because I had a set point in the first set and I was pretty close, you know, yeah. so... Uh, it was a really interesting experience. I, play, I got to play in the Susan Langland Stadium in Paris, so it was great. Uh, but then it was a match he didn't play so well. Yeah. So I I was surprised by like how many balls he could miss. You know, yeah. like, he's a top player. He's a guy who won Grand Slams. Yeah. He beat the best players ever. And yeah, it was, it was interesting to see that they're all human. Yeah. yeah. So even the top guys miss. You know, mm, yeah. maybe it was your game style that was making him miss. So hey, <laughs> hey you never that's, know. That's all <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What about like when you were obviously when you're playing in the point? What was it like? How heavy was that forehand or how heavy was the backhand when you were actually facing it? Did it feel like it had a lot more weight than some perhaps some of the other pros that you would be facing on the tour? Yeah, especially Warinka's backhand was just... I don't know what it was about it, but like it felt like an iron ball coming over the net, you know. Uh, it's like, uh, and also you're rallying, you're rallying, but you're always scared that he's gonna hit a winner. You yeah. can, whenever he changes direction, he doesn't miss it. Yeah. It's probably a winner, so you gotta be careful there. For sure, yeah. uh, what about his serves? Did you feel like you had to adjust uh, on his serve, or did you feel like it was kind of a a normal kind of ATP serve? Um, well, I think top ten players have a different level of serve. Yeah. You know, uh, serve definitely is a big difference in the. Uh, as you go higher, yeah, and Maureen always has a good serve. I yeah. mean, no matter how bad he's playing, he saves his butt, yeah, with it all on the those time. big points. Yeah. I think that's one of the things, just even watching the big tournaments. Uh, the good ones seem to always somehow come from behind, even if they're down. Mm. You know, they may, they could be match point down, they could be break point down, and they'll just get that first serve in, uh, and they'll somehow just play a great point. You know, and yeah. uh, uh, did, it, did it feel like that sometimes that he was just uh, like coming out with some magic when he needed it? Yes, because uh, I mean, like I said before, he would miss a lot, yeah. and uh, I've had I had many opportunities yeah. to break. Uh, I had that set point yeah. and stuff, but then, yeah, like. Uh, he gets back into the match really quickly. Like uh, you feel like you're winning, yeah. but then he's right there, like ready to like uh, start like crushing you if he starts playing. Better. Yeah. So it's kind of uh, pretty asphyxiating. What do you think? Way. What's what? Why? Why do the the better players, the big ones, do it so well? Why do they hang in there? How are they able to do that? Is that mental focus, or do you think it's because they train different, or do you think it's just their personalities are like that? What do you think is the difference? Um, well, first of all, it's just because they just have better shots, and yeah. they they were born with like a little bit of a different level of talent. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, what, the way they can like, you know, grab the ball on the rise and yeah. stuff, I mean, most of the players outside of the top 20 can't do that, um, and that's a big part of it. I mean, the way they serve, you know, uh, no matter how much you practice, you probably won't be ever be able to serve like Federer, for yeah. example. But so yeah, it's it's difficult to kind of try and copy them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you gotta find your own way there. Well, there you have it, guys. That's a little bit of insight on what it's like to play Stan Wawrinka. Now, we'll be doing a few more videos with Taro where he'll be discussing other players that he's played. He's played uh, players like uh, Andy Murray, you've played Team, you've played Del Potro. Uh, so, look out for those videos to come. Now, if you did enjoy the video, press the like button below, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Hello, Tommy Robredo. I'm uh, former world number five. 
If you want to know the secrets of my backhand, just uh, click the racket.